Hello, my brothers and sisters. This is the Reverend Dr. Sinclair in Greater Third, pastor of Mayfield Zion AME Church in Alamo, Georgia. Once again, I'm so happy, excited, and delighted that you've taken time out of your busy schedule to listen to this message that will hopefully transform, educate, and empower you to be the very best in all that God has called you to be. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your grace and your mercy, God. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you, God, that you are still in control, God, when the world seems out of control. God, we thank you that you are always in control, that you are the author and finisher. Now, Lord, I pray, God, that you may give me a word to say that will help elevate, empower, and transform all those who are able to hear this prayer we ask in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Once again, my brothers and sisters, I am so happy that you have taken time out of your schedule to listen to this brief message. As you know, Mayfield Zion, we meet the first Sunday of every month in person. So we're looking forward to the first Sunday in October that we can get together and fellowship and worship the Lord together in a physical in our physical location. Every week after that, I'd like to give you a brief sermon there to empower you. So with that said, when you get time, I want to uplift uh, Psalm 1. Psalm 1. And just want to look at a few verses, and I'll be reading a few verses from the New King James Version. It says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. For just a few moments, I want to simply talk on the topic, discerning friends. That's right, discerning friends. Let me ask you a question. How many of you have ever come across a relationship that you thought was a good friendship that later turned out bad. That's why right, someone stabbed you in the back. Someone who claimed to be your friend really wasn't your friend at all. I know I'm talking to somebody right now because I know all of us have experienced that in our life at one time. Those who claim to be our friends decide to have an ulterior motive. Now I wanna let you know, my friends, it's important that we must discern friendship. Because if we don't discern the people who are in our lives, we will find ourselves messed up. We will find ourselves frustrated and aggravated. To all of my social media friends out there who use Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and whatever you may choose, be very careful. Not everyone on social media is your friend, especially for my Facebook friends, because we use the term friendship so much. Facebook friends, and I know many people have... Uh, Lots of friends, and they call them, thank you, my friend, thank you, my friend. Well, guess what? Those are not really your friends. Those are Facebook followers, I like to call them. Because once again, a friend is somebody who is there with you through the good times and the bad times. Even people in our church, and I know I'm, I'm, I'm bowling down somebody's alley right now. Not everybody in church is considered your friend. Just because they know scripture just because they go to church, just because they appear to be worshiping God, doesn't mean that they have your best interests in mind. Also, my friends, I also have to be very careful, be very mindful, I should say, and let you know, not everybody praying for you and praying with you is actually on your side. You got to discern who's praying for you, P-R-A-Y, and who's praying on you, P-R-E-Y. That's right, we have so many evil spirits coming in the church. As you know, the devil knows scripture. The enemy comes to church. The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. That's why we have to be very careful who we discern as our friends. Once again, I have to say it again. Not everybody is going to be in your life. Everyone should be in your life. Because we are relational people, we all want to have some sort of relationship. We all want to feel important. But I'm here to let you know you have to discern who is for you and who is against you. That's why I like what the Bible says. Blessed is the one who does not walk in the path of sinners. In other words, what looks good and what is good are two totally different things. Remember, one can look a certain way, but their actions can speak 
volumes. That's the first thing I want to let you know when it comes to discerning friendship. Just don't get caught up on what your eyes see. Don't get caught up on the materialism. Don't get just get caught up on the words, but pay attention to one's behavior, pay attention to one's actions, and look at one's character. Is there, I'm excuse me, are there um, signs that they're giving you? Are there red flags? Because if they're red flags, then that is a discerning spirit that you have to let you know who is for you and who is against you. Once again, no one is perfect. All of us should be striving to live a holy life. All of us should be striving to do what God has called us to do. But in the process, when people come into our life, we have to ask ourselves the question, are they for me or are they against me? And it's okay to tell people that they can't be in your circle because guess what? You have to protect your spirit, you have to protect your mind, and you have to protect your environment you have to protect your surroundings that's one of the things i'm always telling people people say well you know what rev you have a lot of friends on facebook you have a lot of people you know yes i have a lot of friends on facebook and yes i know a lot of people but just because i have i have a lot of followers on facebook and because i know a lot of people it doesn't necessarily mean that i consider them friends i like to use the word either colleagues or acquaintances because friendship is too important just to simply throw around and i know i'm talking to someone right now you've thrown the word friendship around too easy a friend is someone who will listen to your innermost thought a friend is one who will hold you accountable a friend wants to see the best out of you without having an ulterior motive and a friend what the bible says will not lead you down the path of unrighteousness that's what i need to tell somebody right now when you have a good friendship when you are able to discern friendship you are no people who are for you and those who are against you those who want you to act up and act out they're not for you those who want you to go against God's will, they're not for you. But those individuals who want the best for you, those individuals that will always point you for, point you in the right direction, those are individuals that you want to keep in your life. Those are individuals that you want to be around. You want to be around positive people. You want to be around productive people. You want to be around people who know the power of God trust in God and who are living for God and refuse to tolerate sin, condone sin, or allow you to participate in sin. So with that said, my brothers and sisters, I want you to discern your friends. It's okay to make sure, it's okay to tell people that they can't be in your life anymore because you have to protect yourself. Remember, you have to be blessed because you don't want to be hanging around the wrong people because hanging around the wrong people will mess you up. And once again, hanging around the wrong people will rob you of all that God has for you. Let's look to Lord in prayer. Lord, I thank you, oh God. I pray right now, God, that you may give us all a discerning spirit, a discerning spirit oh God. I pray, God, that we may look in the mirror, God, and find out who is for us, and who is against us, oh God. I pray, God, that as you give us this discerning spirit, God, that it will be nurtured, oh God, for our good, oh God. And God, I pray right now, God, for that individual, God, that's tried friendship after friendship with anybody and everybody has been disappointed, but they haven't tried you. God, I pray right now that they may try you as their Lord and Savior. And God, I know, God, once they try you, oh God, their life will no longer be the same. So God, I pray for them right now, God. Use them and bless them, oh God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. My brothers and sisters, that concludes the many messages for today. Also, if you would like to partner with Mayfield Zion AME, we will, we will appreciate if you will help us in our cause to do justice to always promote the gospel message at a five-star level. If you will give today with our cat with the cash app at the dollar sign Mayfield Zion and me. That's right. Dollar sign Mayfield Zion and me. We will appreciate it. We will pray over it, and we will definitely be great stewards over that which you have blessed us with. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Until next time, remember God loves you, and so do I.